Michael Schumacher has made a public appearance for the first time in 11 years, attending his daughter Gina Marie's wedding in a highly private event that happened at their private villa in Mallorca. However, with his son announcing the engagement to his girlfriend, Leila Hazanovic, it seems like Schumacher could be set for another public outing that will likely be extremely protected in a similar fashion as the previous week. But what condition is Michael currently in and is this news bringing hope that we might be looking at a better version of himself in the foreseeable future. It goes without saying that Michael Schumacher's fate had some horrible twists, but nevertheless, the fact that he was able to attend the wedding of his daughter and go out in public for the first time in 11 years is definitely a step in the right direction. However, it's worth mentioning from the very start of this video that just because Michael made a public appearance, it doesn't necessarily mean that he's now in a much better state and can walk or talk on his own. The family hasn't provided a lot of information about his health condition and nothing was retrieved from his daughter's wedding because the guests were asked to leave their phones outside before they entered the ceremony. Obviously seeing Schumacher being able to witness such milestones in his kids' lives is a massive boost for his mental health as well as his overall condition, which was ruined in 2013 when he fell on a rock while skiing with his son Mick on the Alps. But now, 11 years later, the family has finally allowed Michael to be seen in public, which could mean that he is in a condition in which his daughter and the close members of his family could recognize him, to say the least. After all, the wedding was an extremely private event, which had 30 people only. And considering the fact that it was held at a mansion that is part of the 15,000 square meter estate, which includes two swimming pools, a helipad, a gym, and a palm tree fringed garden, you could easily understand that it wasn't easy for Michael's family to keep his privacy at the highest level possible. Even better news for Michael and his family at times like this is that he could be seen in public yet again as his son and F1 candidate Mick Schumacher has also announced the engagement to his fiance and a wedding could be on its way soon in a similar fashion like his sister. It definitely pains Michael a lot that he is unable to have an active participation in his son's racing career or his daughter's personal life because Mick could have been a very different driver had it been for Michael's figure being present in his career in F1 from the very start. But when Destiny has other plans, there's not much you can do about it. And even though Michael's situation has been steadily improving, it's not in a position where you can say that he's a different man. Another sad twist in the entire saga is that Schumacher and his brother Ralph have kind of been estranged from each other after the accident. And while nothing wrong happened, which can be seen from Ralph's positive comments about his nephew Mick, the situation situation is just not the same anymore. That doesn't mean Ralph isn't here to help any of Mick's family if there is any need for it and when talking about it the former F1 driver said, when I see his children Gina Maria and Mick my heart smiles. If someone in the family is looking for my advice I am there but they go their own way. There seems to be a bit of good news on this front as well because it was known that Ralph and Karina, Michael's wife, had a frosted relationship but once Ralph came out as homosexual, which followed a divorce from his ex-wife Cora. It helped him bridge a bit closer with Michael's family. At the end of the day, blood is thicker than water, and we're quite sure that the last thing Michael would want to see is more derailment in his family, regardless of the reasons behind it. Corinna has also stated during the Netflix documentary that Michael is here, regardless of his health, adding, Michael is here different but he is here and that gives us strength we're together we live together at home we do therapy we do everything we can to make michael better and to make sure he is comfortable and to simply make him feel our family our blood and no matter what i will do everything i can we all will we are all trying to carry on as a family the way michael liked it and still does and we are getting on with our lives mick has also expressed his gratitude towards his father and how he paved his way towards motorsport racing. And even though he is not an F1 driver right now, the young Schumacher said that the memories of his father walking in a room and everyone going silent out of respect were the figure that he wanted to build for himself, which right now, 
isn't necessarily going to plan. But the most heartbreaking words were said from Mick when he was asked as to what he would want to have from his father in the future, adding, I think dad and I would understand each other now in a different way, simply because we speak a similar language, the language of motorsports, and that we would have so much to talk about. That is where my head is most of the time, thinking that it would be cool. That would be it. I would give up everything just for that. Media is one of the biggest enemies of Michael Schumacher because there was a case back in 2023 where the German publication Die Aktuelle posted an AI fabricated interview that was labelled as the first interview of Michael after the incident. When the proofs of it being AI generated were brought to light, the editor-in-chief Anne Hoffman was sacked while the Funk Managing Director Bianca Polman issued a public apology stating this tasteless and misleading article should never have appeared. It in no way corresponds to the standards of the journalism that we and our readers expect from a publisher like Funk. And this goes to show how much Michael's family values its privacy. Again, the wedding of his daughter saw only 30 guests being invited to the event, which were likely handpicked from Karina and Gina Maria themselves, as well as the groom's side. These positive signs are definitely what we are hoping will continue in the future. It also comes after a time where his former team principal and very close friend Gene Tott said that nothing is the same with Michael anymore, as he is at one of the few people people who are allowed to visit him at any time in Schumacher's home in Spain. When talking about the condition of Michael not that long ago, Tot said, Michael is simply not the Michael he used to be. He is different and is wonderfully guided by his wife and children who protect him. His life is different now and I have the privilege of sharing moments with him. That's all there is to say. Unfortunately, fate struck him 10 years ago and he is no longer the Michael we knew in Formula One. Again, the modern medicine and the professionalism of the trainers and the doctors around him are everything that the Schumacher family is placing their hopes on. But after 11 years of being in this condition, the improvements made to his mental and physical life can never be satisfying enough considering what a kind of human being he was and what kind of racing career he had in the Formula One world. What Michael can hope for now is the well-being of his kids and maybe, just maybe, a finishing touch will be seeing his son race in Formula One yet again, which could give him additional happiness as we all hope he gets better with every passing day. With all this in mind, what do you think about Michael Schumacher being seen in public for the first time in 11 years? And more importantly, do you think that there will come a time where we could be seeing a small, recognisable version of Michael? Let us know in the comments below. And once you do that, make sure to click on the video that's appearing on your screen right now.